Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy, and I have a very special episode for you guys today. I will be making Julia Child's beef bourguignon. Now, this is the first dish that she ever cooked on TV, which aired in 1963. Julia had a passion for French cuisine, and she introduced America to the art of cooking with her detailed instructions, all while she was in front of the camera. She definitely paved the way for female chefs. And I can't help but wonder, what was it like to be Julia Child? Bouf Bourguignon, French beef stew in red wine. We're going to serve it with braised onions and mushrooms in a dark wine sauce. It's a perfectly delicious dish. Hello, I'm Julia Child. Welcome to The French Chef on our first show in our series of French cooking. We will be making Bouffe Bourguignon, a French stew in red wine. It's a wonderful show to start our series on because it shows so many useful things about French cooking. How to brown meat, how to braise onions, saute mushrooms, and make a wonderful sauce. And here's our beef. And from all the various cuts of beef, I find I like the chuck the best. It makes an awfully good stew. Well, all right guys. Well, I'm gonna do the best that I can to show you how to make Julia's beef bourguignon. Uh, I'm gonna follow her recipe as close as possible and I'm starting with the beef. Now I'm using a chuck roast and I'm going to cut it into large chunks. All right, there. All right, so my beef is all cut and now I'm gonna take some paper towels and I'm just going to pat this beef dry a little bit. And by drying the beef, it just gives it a, a better sear. Uh, it helps it to brown nicely. All right, so I'm going to set my beef aside and I'm going to get out my bacon and I have six slices of bacon. Now I'm not going to show you all the ingredients right up front like I usually do. I'm going to just kind of show you as I go. I'm going to take six slices of bacon and I'm going to cut them in a lardon cut, which is basically the French word for thin slices of, of bacon. All right, so I'm going to put my bacon in a pot of water and I'm going to simmer it for 10 minutes. All right, then I'm going to drain the bacon. All right, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to a large cast iron Dutch oven, it's enamel coated. And then I'm going to add my bacon and I'm going to cook it until it's crisp. All right, so once your bacon is browned and crisp, I'm gonna remove it from the pan using a slotted spoon. Then I'm going to begin to sear my beef and I'm just gonna place it right in this Dutch oven but make sure you don't crowd your pan because you want it to get a nice sear on it. So we will be doing this in batches. All right, second batch. All right, so I'm gonna set my beef and bacon aside and now I'm gonna add my carrots and onion. And that was two, two small carrots and one large onion. And I'm just going to cook them in this fat until they are browned and slightly tender. It'll take a few minutes. So my carrots and onions have been cooking for about five minutes. So 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the beef back to the pot. And I'm also going to add the bacon back to the pot. I'm going to turn off the heat. And I'm going to sprinkle with some salt. Just a couple pinches. And some black pepper. And then I'm going to sprinkle in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I want to toss the beef and the vegetables in this flour. Alright, so I'm going to cover it and I'm going to place it in a preheated 450 degree oven for four minutes. All right, so after four minutes, you're going to remove it from the oven. Give it a stir. And back in the oven for another four minutes. I'm also going to add two smashed garlic cloves. And then I'm going to add about two to three cups of red wine. And this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't know how to say that. Sorry, guys. I'm also going to add about three cups of a beef stock. And you just want your liquid until it just comes to the beef. You don't want it to go over the, over the meat. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste. Give that a good stir. All right, then I'm going to add about four sprigs of thyme, one bay leaf. I'm going to turn the fire back on and I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer. And I'm also scraping the bottom of my pot because we want to get all those brown bits up off the bottom. That adds so much flavor to your stew. So it is just starting to simmer. So now I'm going to cover it, turn off the heat, and now I'm going to place it back in my oven. Now I have reduced my oven to 325 degrees and I'm going to let this cook for about three to four hours or until that beef is easily pierced. Should be very nice and tender. All right, so now I'm going to work on my pearl onions. Uh, so you will need anywhere from 12 to 24 small little pearl onions. Now these still have the skins on them, so um, I'm going to remove those by placing them in a pot of boiling water. Twenty seconds later, drain your onions and I'm going to rinse them in some cool water. All right, and the skin should just come right off. So once you've removed the skins, just trim off the root. All right, so I have my onions here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to braise our onions. I have a large skillet. I'm going to turn the heat onto a medium heat, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm also going to add a tablespoon of butter. Now, Julia says that you will know that your oil is hot enough when the butter stops foaming. I'm just going to let that go for just a little bit longer. That looks good. I'm going to add my onions. Toss them around in that fat. I'm going to sprinkle them with some salt and black pepper. I'm going to add about a cup of beef broth. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add an herb bouquet. I've got some parsley stems and some thyme sprigs. To that, I'm going to add a bay leaf. And then I've tied it together with some kitchen twine. 
Typically you'll put this in a cheesecloth. I just don't have any cheesecloth and this will work just fine. I'm going to add this to my onions. All right, then I'm gonna cover them and let them cook for about 30 to 40 minutes until the onions are tender and the liquid has evaporated. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean my mushrooms. And I just have a white button mushroom. And I have been taught to take a damp paper towel to clean my mushrooms. And then I'm going to remove the stems. And then I'm going to quarter them. All right, so in the same skillet that I braised my onions, I'm going to saute my mushrooms. And I've turned the heat onto a medium heat. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. All right, so I think my oil is nice and hot, so I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Give them a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper. And I'm just gonna shake my pan till all those mushrooms are coated. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. All right, the mushrooms are looking good. I'm gonna turn the fire off. I'm going to add them to my onions. So the beef bourguignon has just come out of the oven. It looks delicious. Now I'm going to add the onions and the mushrooms to this stew. Just look at that. Oh, there's the bay leaf. Let me grab that. This beef bourguignon is so sophisticated. It is just rich and glorious. It will really impress your family and friends if you make it. It is just delicious. Now I like to serve it with some mashed potatoes. Um, traditionally the French I believe had like roasted potatoes, but I like just a little bit of a mashed potatoes. This beef is just fork tender. Mm. The sauce on this beef bourguignon is just velvety, smooth, and creamy. It's just delicious. You know, when you make dishes like this, it's like you transport yourself back in time. And it's like it kind of brings a little bit of Julia to your life. <laughs> it's almost like she is just right here with us. So now we have a wonderful, delicious French stew, beef bourguignon. And I hope you feel you can make a good stew after seeing this one. This is Julia Child, bon appetit. All right, well, I really hope that you enjoyed learning how to make Julia Child's beef bourguignon and uh, hope that you give it a try. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.